Hi, my name's Phil. I like to come out of politics, and in this video, I like to pick up a few things in Sunak's farewell speech as leader at the Tory Party conference, where he lied about the Tory legacy, including a claim that poverty had gone down when, in actual fact, it has increased. But first, for daily political commentary, please click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. So I'd already said of the Tory conference this year that there was nothing really to do but to listen to the leadership contenders. This is why Sunak gave his farewell speech on the first day of the conference. Party leaders usually give their keynote speech at the end as a sort of climax to the proceedings. Sunak got his speech out of the way early in order to leave the rest of the conference to focus on the important matter of replacing him. Because I said that none of the usual points of a conference really applied here. Um, they weren't going to make much money. They couldn't announce new policies because until they've selected a new leader, they technically don't have any policies at all. Mind you, that hasn't stopped them for the last few years where they did have a leader. But I also said that they'd nothing to celebrate because they've got no achievements in government. Everything they said they were going to achieve didn't happen and have just been handed their worst ever election result in over two centuries. And yet, yeah, Sunak gave it a go anyway. He claimed that the Tories should not have, they shouldn't let Starmer rewrite the history of their achievements. And I think, OK, so what are these achievements then? And, and amongst them, he said that they had reduced absolute poverty, child poverty and pensioner poverty. Right then. I mean, first of all, earlier this year, it was being reported that we'd just seen the biggest rise in absolute poverty for 30 years. 30 years ago was also a Conservative government, of course. This is literally on Sunak's own watch as Prime Minister. The latest House of Commons data shows that the number of children in poverty before housing costs are considered went from 3.6 million in 2010 to 4.3 million last year. Now, of course, you'd say, well, hang on, the population has grown since then. But if child poverty had increased at the same rate as the population grew, child poverty before housing, taken into account, would have been 3.9 million last year. But 4.3 million. So it is clearly the case that child poverty has increased. However you measure it, Sonak has lied. As for pensioner poverty, another report from earlier this year showed that we currently have the highest number of pensioners living in deprivation since records began. And this is what I mean when I say the Conservatives didn't actually achieve anything worth mentioning in their 14 years of power. There were some things they did. But in terms of things that even they would say are worth mentioning, it's not just me dismissing their achievements because I believe Labour would have delivered more. Even the current Tory leader trying to put a positive spin on things is unable to reel off any actual achievements without lying. Like I remember back to that fateful conference when Gordon Brown as leader rattled off all those genuine achievements under the Labour government up to that point. You know, regardless of what happened in the following election, those achievements were not only quite many, but they were real as well. Tories got nothing. They didn't lower poverty. They raised it. All sensible measures of it. They raised crime. They raised waiting lists. They raised prices, but lowered pay. They even raised their precious immigration. He also, like many other senior Tories there, was making jokes about freebies at Labour's expense. Now you go, OK, you know, a party conference is very partisan, of course. It's the most partisan place anywhere. And of course, you're going to get things like that. So you go, OK, yeah, sure. But then it got me thinking, hang on a minute. This is the guy who made the taxpayer cough up tens of millions of pounds so that he could get helicopter rides from Downing Street to wherever, where a train would have got him there just as quickly. You know, they would try to say, oh, but you sometimes need these things to get there and back. Yeah, sometimes that has to happen. But quite often he was making these helicopter trips where a train would have done. It's something that Starmer scrapped as soon as he took over. He doesn't need it. You know, and I was dipping in and out and listening to some of this stuff. And you've got Sunak and Jenrick there talking about these freebies. And I'm thinking, someone should do an audit of just how much taxpayer money those two took without giving anything back in return. Absolute charlatans. However, the main point, really, I suppose, is that I was wrong. See, when I said that the Tories wouldn't be able to use the conference to celebrate their achievements, I mean... I'd obviously forgotten that these girls think nothing of taking their biggest failures and then just warping reality to turn them into great achievements. Oh, we, we massively increased poverty. Oh, uh, well, people don't like that. Let's just say we lowered it instead. And not a word calling out the lies in the mainstream media, as far as I can see. Mind you, I suppose it doesn't matter in this particular case. Not many members 
of the public will have paid any attention to Sunak's speech, even in highlight form. But when his replacement tries to claim the same things, they will need to be called out. Poverty will fall in the next few years with Labour in power. It never does with the Conservatives. After all, how can it? The Conservatives make a point of squeezing pay and empowering privatised services to maximise their profits. In what world could that ever lead to lower levels of poverty? But there we are. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, you can join for memberships. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.